Hello guys, um, Jesus here, back with a little update on my worm project here, my worm cannons in 116. So I have some stuff to show. First of all, this is my new prototype right here. This is something I would consider reducing if someone needs it. This does not have a reverse right now, which I'm going to be working on next. I just got this done. This is not adjustable. So first let me talk about the issue with adjustable worms on 116. So obviously if you have an adjustable cannon right, let's say you want to be able to adjust this here if you shoot here or here. So you obviously need to have this block, which you can move in either direction. Um, then we're going to have... A TNT here. And a sand. As a demonstration. So the way you would achieve this. Is by having, say... A wall here or you can't here whatever and you have the TNT go off here while the sand is here this will apply the momentum to the TNT like this and the way the game works you would um, this would get the momentum applied to it and would then go this way and then once it hits something here it would go this way um, the issue is two of the cardinals on 116 do this twice. So you would then get, instead of just getting this effect, and the TNT would end up stacking, as the sand would end up stacking here, you would achieve this effect. And one of these triangles takes, I think, one game tick as far as I know. So this would take one game tick, and this would take another game tick. Um, and in two of the cardinals, which would not have this issue, I have been getting a problem where I can't stack horizontally at all with sand. There would one sand stack here, and all the sand would arrive here because there was 300 sand dropped on the ground next to it, but it wouldn't stack up horizontally at all. So the only option was to choose the triangle twice, which I choose to do, right? Um, then the next problem we have is that the tunneling TNT that you will use that goes off later in the same tick as the power, right? That would obviously um, not have this weird behavior where triangles once more. Um, The reason for that being that it only travels one game tick before it explodes, meaning it would only do the triangle once, one game tick, and then explode here. Um, so that's obviously a pretty big issue if your tunnel doesn't go where your sand goes, right? So the way I solved this, I actually got past that problem as well, was by having the tunnel TNT here. So as you can see now, this power would go off, the sand would get triangled against here, then against here, then against here, while the tunneling TNT would only get triangled against here and then against here. That, that worked pretty well. But then we come to the last issue that I had with this adjustable cannon really, if especially if you have to triangle the sand twice and you have a lot of tunneling TNT, um, you need a crazy amount of power on 116 to get this to work. And I don't mean like... Uh, crazy amount of power like maybe 500 or a thousand you probably need maybe somewhere around 2000 is my estimation to get this to fully work and i just couldn't be asked to build a new power with 2000 tnt almost crash my server um just to get it working yet i am going to do that at some point probably first i will try to get the rev working on here um, see everything if everything works on here 
and then I'm going to try to port that into a adjustable version again. But for now, I'm doing a non-adjustable one. Um, see, this is still a lot of power. Let's talk about this kind of now. This is a lot of power. I think it's 784 power. Yep, 784. You don't need this much, I assume. I haven't tested with less. This is also using a new power that has uh, some my kind of infinite boosters on here that I made. This power in theory could go off every half a second without issues. This sand comp and stuff is not ready for that. I think this part might Um, except for the part that pushes in here, I would need to change the delays on that, but I think this part might work with it. Uh, the sand comp definitely wouldn't, it takes a while, I would need to make a larger sand comp that drops in sand once, 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 um, to be able to get that to work every half a second. I don't know if I am going to make that the final goal, to have this go every half a second. I could try that, but on 116 that's very useless, let's say, unless the time difference has an actual effect on your cannon, like for example you need to shoot before a region regenerates a second time, that would be quite useless, it would be quite stupid to do since it lags so much you're gonna have to wait for 10 seconds for this to shoot anyways, and that's on an empty server which has uh, runs on 20 with a 9900k so you are you are have to go into wait for these shots so i don't know if a fast auto is really what we need all right this stacks exactly 200 sand in here this has a 10 wide so it goes 20 down per shot um and has 60 tunnel this tunnel is not um might not be enough for your needs if there's obby on your server that has a lot of lives and they have a lot of obby walls with this i think the server on com the obby on complex has 10 lives that's what i play on and these um and this gets through about 35 obby before stopping so if they had maybe more than 30 obby walls let's see because that would still leave some TNT for the sand and the rest of the walls. If they had maybe say more than 30 RB walls, I would need to add tunnel here. But for now, this has been fine for me. Um, yeah, you can turn off the tunnel and the uh, sand with these levers here that I've made. This is where you turn on the cannon. And this right now, the tested range of this is. Um, 20 chunks, I'm shooting this at 20 chunks from the base wall, not from the outer wall, and it stacks 200 sand, that's a bit more than 12 chunks, that's 12 and a half chunks. Um, you can probably shoot this further, like maybe 30 or even more chunks with this amount of power. I've just kind of pasted this power onto here because I was working on the, these boosters. So this should have more range than 20 chunks, but I just haven't tested it yet. Alright, let's get to testing this on some walls. Um, now, as you can see, I've got a big obsidian box here, this is nothing in it. And I've got some regions, three regions. Those are real regions. But it doesn't make a difference since at Y1 they don't work anyways. And then I've got like 30, something like 30 gen walls, I think, or 20. Um, then counting. All right, so let's test this. Firing. Now obviously, there's the first tunnel, and then stack sand, since those do fire on the same uh, tick. It's going to tunnel first, and then fire the sand. Uh, I've had some issues in the past regarding 
tunneling and shooting the sand on the same tech with the same power on 116 but I think that was due to some of the same issues I've explained earlier with the triangles so we'll have to figure that out when I make the adjustable version anyways we've got our whole sand stack here There we go. Has this punch through yet? Yes. There we go. No. This has no rev yet or anything, as I said. So, and also, as I mentioned, the shots take a long time. Yeah. But, um, oh. Our sand has run out, that's why nothing is happening. Um, let's get some sand in here. I have still have protection blocks up here, I haven't mm -hmm. tested this without them yet. I don't think it has any issues since I've tested this power without it and nothing else really goes off here except the sand boosters I guess and the one booster for the um, thingy the one booster for the um, tunnel What's happened here? Why is this a quiet here? Let's just shoot tunnel for a second. Not sure what exactly happened here. I'm gonna get rid of it. Um, I think it was because my sand ran out and I just tunneled. Until I run into water and then stack on that again. That might have been the issue. happening here it's stacking up here oh the block on that regenerated oh all right that's what happened the block on the first wall regenerated um, let's go Break it more at some point until this can't happen anymore. Um, but it takes maybe multiple shots on these regions since they have lava inside. There can be some gen mess that happens. But regions do always break at Y1 if you can through them. So maybe it takes two shots or three. But you should be good on the regions. Hitting the gen voice now. Oh, 
this armor oh, down here is turning into cobble. Now this will advance up to here. Yes, exactly. Gonna run out of sand again soon. At this point, this is pretty much one wall per shot with the gen walls. It gets even easier if they have slabs down there, because then it's just going to go straight through. I'm actually gonna demonstrate this, I think. Slabs. So what people will do... Um, is have slabs on the bottom of their stuff, right? To prevent stacking, obviously. I mean, every good cannon has a slab bust anyways, but people can always put more slabs. Something so your slab bust doesn't work, right? Um, problem is, if, if you have slabs at Y1, which I don't know where else you I mean you could just put them up and leave Y1 out. That's what you could do I guess. Let's put some slabs in these walls here. Should be probably forwarded at this. But anyways, we're gonna see. I think we still got one wall out slabs. And then we got the slabs. Since there's a block at uh, Y1 now, I don't think those slabs are watered or dry. Are those slabs waterlogged? I think they are. Let me just unwaterlog those slabs since we're obviously it's not gonna work on waterlogged slabs. It might, I don't know. But I don't want to test it. Okay. Slab with smooth stone slab. Bottom. False. Not watering it anymore. Now we getting through the slab walls I think and then you're gonna see what this will do to a wall with slabs on it at least if the slabs are placed at Y1 just goes through it does not care about your slabs trust me um, that actually makes it way easier to get through the walls if they have slabs at Y1 if they have them on half of these, if they have them on all of these, it doesn't matter. This makes it very easy to get through these walls. Really not even a challenge with if they have slabs. They are done for, basically. So yeah. The same obviously goes for any other block, right? If they think they're very smart and they have a soul sand on the bottom, let's say, of their walls, that's also going to be more of a hindrance to them than an advantage, you could say. Or if they just have solid blocks there as well. Soul sand, definitely a bad idea to have on those walls. Um, same goes for slabs um, or any block really that's down there. That's not water, lava, water dog, you know. Mm -hmm. If they have those, then obviously the, the walls will get one shot. 
but yeah this does not have a ref yet as i said so if they have some ref layers this um is not going to help you really you could i guess use it to get rid of like swords and or slabs down there if you can it doesn't have the slab walls but yeah not really great use if you don't have any revs uh, on it and they have ref layers right um, I'm gonna be working on the ref and try to release this soon with a working ref, but it's quite hard to ref, especially on 116. I can't just go out and Google how to ref. I need to understand it myself, I need to see how it works exactly, and I need to figure out how I do it and how I combine it with this cannon in a reasonable way. So I'm gonna be working on that, I'm gonna see what I can do about it. The last thing I'm gonna do here is just obliterate this sand stick here. There you go. And with this, you're in the base here. This is bedrock, but uh, just imagine we got in the base here that had these kind of defenses on it. I hope you enjoyed this little update on the worm. Gonna be trying to make the release soon. See ya.